So welcome, everybody. This is the $1,500 hour, how to find real paying jobs in voiceover without endless auditions that lead you nowhere. Isn't that a pain? I mean, I, you know, auditioning, it's like, it's fun. But at the same time, at a certain point, it's like, okay, cough up some money already. Well, that's what we're going to talk about on tonight's call. Okay, so let's get going. And uh, you should have a handout. We did send it to you. Um, if for some reason you didn't get it, that's okay. It's, you'll be able to take notes. I'm going to be very clear. And uh, I just want to congratulate you all for, for being here, for showing up. What did Woody Allen say? Success, 99% of success is just showing up. That is so true. Um, so, so, you know, first, let's just get ourselves prepared to really get in the groove here and learn everything I have to share with you tonight. So please, give yourself the gift of your undivided attention on this call tonight. Don't multitask. I promise you I'm going to be interesting. <laughs> and, you know, in the next hour, I am going to teach you a simple one, two, three-step strategy for having a great part-time home-based voiceover business with clients who will pay you actually good money for your work without endless frustrating auditions guarantee. I mean, you know, I said $1,500 hour. That was a, like a job I did recently last week. I made $1,500 for less than an hour's work. And then even um, about a couple months ago, I did like $3,400 in an hour. So this is possible, people, in voiceover. I'm going to talk about that tonight. And I know there's some, some professionals on the call tonight that have done that as well. But the, the deal is to do it consistently so people keep coming on the line. Um, this is going to wait for you even if you hate selling, even if you have never sold a single thing in your life. And I can make virtually certain that no one is using all the strategies exactly as I described them to you, but everyone could. Now, if you are a total newcomer just starting out in voiceover or have been doing it for a while but not booking enough work, this information is vital for you to hear, and I'm going to save you years of frustration and spinning your wheels. So I'm going to unmute the line for a second. I want you to unmute it. All you newcomers say, hey. 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 Okay, you can hear how many people are on the on the line there. And what about if you've made your demo, if you set up your home studio, but you're confused about what to do next? This presentation is all is for you. So if you've made your demo, say hey. Okay. So thank you guys. That's enough of that. There's over 200 people on the line, and uh, it, it's going to get pretty noisy. So welcome. I'm thrilled you're here. Now. This is also for you if you've been booking voiceovers, but the jobs are few and far between and you feel like you're missing a big piece of the puzzle. Well, I'm going to show you the way tonight. And here's the deal. If you can stay until the end of the call, we will be doing live Q&A. And I promise I will stay on the line and answer as many of your questions as I can until we run out of time. So here's what I'm going to cover on tonight's call. The number one thing you must do first to launch your voiceover career so you can actually find real paying jobs. Now, almost everyone gets this wrong, but I'm going to keep you headed in the right track on this call. I'm also going to talk about the three immutable laws, unchangeable, never changing laws of voiceover success that will catapult you ahead of the competition how to spout, spot voiceover BS and save yourself from getting discouraged and spinning your wheels so you market as you market your services, and how my proven step-by-step mic-to-money marketing system can quickly take you from startup to lasting success in voiceover. So listen, you're in the right place, and this is for you if you've spent an entire professional lifetime chasing a living and now it's time to have a life. If you feel truly alive behind the mic and can't live another day in your soul-sucking day job, you want voiceover to be your life. This calls for you and you're in the right place if you've invested a small fortune in training, in a demo, in your website, your home studio, but you still have nothing to show for it. The call's for you if you've, in, if you've done hundreds of auditions on pay-to-play 
and only booked one teeny tiny job and it's starting to dawn on you that there's got to be a better way. You're also in the right place if you're pretty good at selling, but you absolutely hate doing it. You're in the right place if you don't want to one day harbor painful regret because you didn't heed your passion. You didn't heed your calling. You know you need to do something about this now before it's too late. You're in the right place if you want freedom, freedom to travel when and wherever you want. And as one of our Inside Voice Over subscribers put it, to have an RV or tiny house on wheels with a studio in it so I can work wherever I want. That's great. Don't you just get a great image of that? You want more flexible time. You want to control your own hours and not live on someone else's clock. You've had some training, but you got stuck in what I call Gritger. And if you're new to my tribe here, uh, you don't know that Gritger stands for getting ready to get ready. It's a common disease. And what that means is, you know, life happened and you didn't follow through. You want to keep the momentum going. You're in the right place if you've spent the last 20, 30, 40 years meeting other people's expectations, and now it's time for you. You're in the right place if you've got a great voice and a great product, but you just can't figure out how to sell it. And you're in the right place if you know you've got talent and you want to leave a creative legacy. You want your voice, your art, to live on. So right now, I'm going to ask you to imagine you could wave a magic wand. Imagine you can wave a magic wand, wake up in the morning, give your spouse, your wife, a kiss, enjoy a leisurely breakfast together instead of gulping down your coffee and sprinting off to work? Not today. Today you walk across the hall into the guest room, into that walk-in closet she gave up so you could make it your voice booth. Oh, sure, she didn't like the idea at first, and you had quite a few disagreements over whether or not this would be just one more of your harebrained schemes. One more thing you tried that didn't work out. Well, it did work out. And you're settling down today to do a few very nice jobs for your voiceover clients. And tonight you're taking her out to a very special dinner. And next month you're spending four weeks at the beach house. The two of you have dreamt about this for years, but you could never get away for more than a few days at a time. But soon you'll tuck your microphone and laptop into your suitcase, hang out at the beach for a month and you'll never miss a beat. Imagine if you could wave a magic wand. You could open your phone to the Audible audiobook app, tap on an audiobook narrated by you. The first one you did was very well received, and then there was another and another and another. You work at your own comfortable pace from your home studio, reading one fascinating book after another, and sometimes you even get to speak with the author and the fans at the book signings. This is your new life in voiceover, and you love every minute of it. And that's what happened to my Platinum Program graduate, Jim Hickey, who wrote to me to let us know that he's working on his fifth audiobook. The first four are installments of the Elliot Smith Mystery Series, and they're for sale on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. The fifth is The Somali Doctrine by British author James Granton. And the author wrote to him and said, I absolutely love it, especially the voices you use for each character. I found myself being drawn into the story and really enjoying it. Well done. So imagine that could be you. Jim writes, obviously, I'm having fun. Thank you for the great foundation you laid for me in the world of voiceovers. I'm putting your lessons to work. Now imagine you could wave a magic wand and get a phone call from your nephew. He just heard your voice on not one but two of his favorite video games. You never thought your voiceover career would turn out this way, but it did. At first you thought it was a fluke, but now it seems like just about every week you get a call from a game developer looking for your voice. Sometimes a wizard, sometimes a mad scientist, sometimes an evil genius. You have never had so much fun. And that's what happened to David Seeger, who's in our Voiceover Training Institute program. He just retired. He started his voiceover career last October, and he just wrote me this email. My head is about to pop off. Yesterday, I did a directed read for my fourth video game. We had such a great time. They told me they liked my approach so much they thought it breathed new life 
in the whole project. They also told me that they were hoping to do more versions of the game should this one catch on and would love to work for me again. He had no clue he would end up doing video games. He always thought that people would, he's got a nice voice, his normal voice, and he, he kept saying to me, what about my normal voice? They keep hiring me for video games, but he's not complaining. So now you might be wondering, look, if this information that you're going to share tonight is so good, Susan, why are you sharing it with everyone? I mean, why are you giving your secrets away? Now, that's a fair question. Uh, I'd want to know that, too, if I were you. Now, many of you know I've been uh, teaching for a long time. It's actually been 25 years. I can't believe how time flies. And I've always been, and I still am, a working voice talent. You may know me as the voice that says, Thank you for using AT&T and the telephone voice of Citibank that says, Welcome to City Phone Banking. Now, I have my own production company. I still do voiceovers every single day. I'm a highly paid professional voiceover artist. But while I still audition from time to time, I don't sit around waiting for the phone to ring. I have a steady stream of work, and it's been that way for years because of the marketing system I've developed that I'll share with you a little later on this call. Life is very good for me, and that's exactly why I'm doing this call tonight and sharing this information. You see, I believe that if you've achieved success, you have a moral obligation to give back a moral obligation to lift other people up. I love helping others, and I believe that's the key to a happy, healthy, and successful life. Wouldn't you agree? I know you do. I've helped thousands of voiceover career, careers over the years. That's my mission. And more importantly, I am passionate about entrepreneurship. I mean, I, I've created my own little entrepreneurial business, out of my microphone. It's, it's amazing. And, I, and that is what I am passionate about. Now, we have a lot of problems in this country. But one of the things we have here is the ability to start and thrive in your own business. And I'm telling you, if you've ever traveled abroad, I go to Brazil all the time, it's really hard to start and have a business. It's very hard to do what we can do here in America in terms of you know, being an entrepreneur and having a business. It's a freedom we've been given, and it's one that I cherish. And you know what else? These days, everyone needs a gig on the side. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, you know, a lot of people, their, their retirement isn't looking the way they had hoped. So I'm here to help you become self-reliant to have the freedom and security that comes from having your own business, whether you want to work from home and do voiceover full-time or part-time as a money hobby, as I call it. I figured out how to make this work, and I feel it's my personal obligation to pay it forward. So that is why I'm here. That's why I do what I do. So let's take a minute and go back in time. Now, when I was a kid, I always dreamed of being on the radio. I grew up outside of New York City at a time when album rock was at its peak, right? And we had some of the best radio stations and the best DJs in the country. And some of you from the New York area might remember WNEWFM, remember them? Scott Muni, Allison Steele, the Nightbird. They're no longer with us, unfortunately. But Jonathan Schwartz is still. He's still on the radio. He's on Sirius. And that's who I grew up listening to. And I was so passionate about radio and all that great music, I literally slept with a speaker under my pillow so I wouldn't miss a minute. I mean, have you ever had a passion like that? I think you have, right? So I wanted to go to broadcasting school, but my parents wouldn't hear of it. They insisted I go to college. So I enrolled in Hamilton Kirkland College in a tiny town just outside of Utica in upstate New York. And I worked at the college radio station, but it was so low power, you could only hear it on campus. And there was this big plug under the board that whenever you would hit it with your leg, which was all the time, the station would go off the air. That's how small and rinky-dink that first radio station I worked at was. But I loved it. I loved every moment I was on the air. But I hated college. <laughs> and without telling my parents, I applied to the local rock radio station, WOUR in Utica. I got the job, and I dropped out of school. Now, they weren't too happy about it, and I'm not proud that I dropped out of school, but at least it seemed like I had a career, right? So 
I started out working overnights, making $90 a week, which seemed like a lot of money at the time. And I lived with all the DJs in a big farmhouse on the edge of a cornfield. And, you know, one of the DJs had a collection of bootleg tapes from the Grateful Dead that took up an entire room. I think you get the picture of what those years were like. You know, it was in the 70s. And soon after that, I got a job down in Sarasota, Florida, at a much bigger and better radio station, and you couldn't beat the climate. And now my radio career was cooking. I still wasn't making a lot of money, but the hours were better, and I was getting really good at being on the air. I was only 24 years old. But one day, I decided it was time to move to New York City, which was and is the number one radio market in the country. And I assumed, okay, I'm, I'm, I became really good at radio in Florida. And I'm coming back home to New York. And I immediately assumed the world was going to beat a path to my door and I was going to make it really big in radio. Um, and it, you know, it didn't happen right away. <laughs> I did get part-time work at several big stations and eventually I took a job as a traffic reporter at Shadow Traffic. And it was a smart move because I eventually added, ended up as the traffic reporter on the Howard Stern Show which, as you know, I'm sure, was the number one morning show in America. It was glamorous, yes, and I became famous, but the dirty little secret was I was only making, are you ready for this, $25,000 a year. Now, those of you, I know you're on this call, if you've been in radio, you know that's the dirty little secret about radio. The pay stinks, and the hours are even worse. I mean, I was getting up every day at 4 o'clock in the morning, to be on the air at morning drive and making that kind of money. But it was the number one show in America. I mean, you couldn't get any higher or you couldn't get any more famous, but I was exhausted. I was living in a tiny little walk-up apartment in New York City. I had no money. I was deep in credit card debt. And what's worse, every day I went to work, my job was to be ruthlessly teased on the air by Howard. Now, I must admit that he's funny, the bits he did with me were very funny, but they were pretty raw. And the FCC even thought they were obscene, and a lot of the transcripts of the shows he did with me made it into their lawsuit against him, believe it or not. And, you know, it was starting to wear on me. This was not the life I had envisioned for myself when I had that passion about being on the radio. What I thought was going to be my dream was actually kind of a nightmare. And that is when I decided to go full-time in voiceover. I mean, I'd been on the air for years. I'd recorded thousands of commercials. I was sure I could make this work. So one day I quit the show. And Howard even called me up off the air and said, Are you crazy? The audience loves you. We love you. I'm about to do a movie. The show's about to go national. You can't leave now. But I did. I left. And instead of becoming immediately successful in voiceover, like I imagined, here's what happened. Nothing. Crickets. Except I did get a call from the New York City police. You see, one of my strategies in those early years was to blanket the market with my demo, which in those days was on an audio cassette. Remember those? So I sent out hundreds of audio cassettes, my demo, to every potential customer. If you were a production company, recording studio, you got my demo. But nothing happened until one night I got a call. Ma'am, this is Officer McCarthy from the NYPD. Have you recently been mugged? I said, no, I haven't. What happened? He said, well, we have a perpetrator. We, we caught a guy here, and uh, when we were going through his jacket, we found a an audio tape with your name on it, and we thought that may, your name and phone number, we thought that, uh, you know, maybe you were mugged or something. I said, no, here's what happened. I mean, somebody had tossed my demo in the trash, and this dude they caught was, you know, like many homeless people unfortunately do in New York City. I've been going through the trash, picked up my demo, said, oh, this looks interesting, put it in his pocket. And then the police picked him up. Huh. And that was just about all that was going on in my voiceover career at that time. I had jumped, but I didn't have a net. So first I thought, well, my voice must be the problem. I just needed to keep trying to learn to audition better than everyone else to book the jobs. It was my problem. And it was eating at me. It was destroying my confidence. I felt like a failure. 
So what I did was I took what little money I'd saved and I plowed it into classes trying to improve my voice acting skills. But it didn't help. And things got worse and I ended up having to take three day jobs just to make ends meet. I was a waitress, which is noble work. You know, I'm sure a lot of you have done it. Then I became a telemarketer and they had me selling deodorant crystals to funeral homes. And then I found another day job, and this one looked better. It was for a singing telegram company called Renta Yenta. I mean, this is New York City, right? And one day I went in, and they said, okay, Susan, you've got, we've got a job for you today. You're going to go out on 7th Avenue, and you're going to sing this invitation to a, a fall fashion show, and here's your costume. It's an elf costume. Now, this was July in New York City. It was 100 degrees outside. And I dressed up in this little red elf costume with fur and a little velvet skirt, and I was trudging up 7th Avenue. It was 100 degrees. I'm dressed like an elf, and all I could think was there's got to be a better way. I mean, it was a real low point. So one day by accident, I booked one of those jobs that were few and far between. And I was reading with another talent, a guy, and as we left the studio, we went down to the street. He's getting into his Jaguar sedan, and I am fishing in my pocket for a subway token. Now, obviously, he was a lot more successful than me and doing a lot more work, so I begged him to take him to lunch. And he said, no, 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 I'll take you to lunch. And we're sitting there, and he says, look, here's the deal. When I'm not working, and he opens up his laptop, and he says, look, these are my prospects. I'm marketing myself. This was a completely new concept for me. A light bulb went off in my head. I thought, wow, you can actually sell your way into voiceovers. And so what I did was I said to myself, no, 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 you're good enough. Stop trying to audition just a little bit better than anybody else. You have no control over that, but you can become an expert at sales and marketing, and that was something I could control. That was something I could study and learn. So what did I do? I enrolled myself in a training program given by a famous marketing expert, and at the end of his presentation, he offered a comprehensive home study program that had everything I needed to change my life. But the only problem was... It was much more money than I thought I could afford. I mean, I was feeling pretty broke. But then I remembered something I heard from a, a wealthy friend of mine, a woman I admired, and she said, successful people take fast action and invest in themselves. So I pulled out my credit card, the only one that hadn't been maxed out. I took a deep breath, and I invested in the program. And then I locked myself in my apartment and dove into that program and implemented everything I could. And I started applying it to my voiceover business. I followed his advice. I used the templates he provided like a cookbook. I used the telephone sales scripts he gave me. And after a few months, things started to work. I became the voice of the Travel Channel. I bought cheap ads in a trade magazine like he taught me to do, and I became the voice of Citibank. I learned how to get repeat business, and I made a fortune as the voice of AT&T. And over the years, I've adapted and I've updated this system for my voiceover business, and it's been the foundation of what I teach my students. People like voice talent, Vicki Liston, who I think is on the line tonight, actually, who wrote to us and said, thank you for taking the time to talk with me last month and giving me the kick in the tail I requested. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> I'm thrilled to let you know I have booked an e-learning job last week. This has been especially motivating and encouraging. Thank you so much for helping me get going again and for recommending the structured 90-minute sessions. They're exactly what I needed. That's one of my time management techniques, by the way. So here's what we're going to talk about on tonight's call. This is what you're going to learn. First, the number one thing you must do first to launch your voiceover career so you can actually find real paying jobs, and almost everyone gets this wrong, but I'm going to keep you headed on the right track. You're going to learn the three immutable laws of voiceover success that will catapult you ahead of the competition, 
how to spot voiceover BS and save yourself from getting discouraged and spinning your wheels as you grow your business, and how my proven step-by-step mic-to-money marketing system can quickly take you from startup to lasting success in voiceover. So here's the number one thing you must do first to launch your voiceover career so you can find real paying jobs. So what most people do when they want to get started in voiceover, well, hopefully the first thing you do is call us and join our voiceover training institute so you can work with our coaches to learn professional voiceover technique. That's a good thing to do. That's not what I'm talking about here. What most people do is they take a class, they make a demo, and then they start decking out their home studio. I mean, they really deck it out. They spend a fortune on a website. They hire a graphic designer and sometimes a branding expert to design their logo. And they get all kinds of giveaways, also called swag, like branded coffee cups, mouse pads, T-shirts, tote bags. I mean, I've seen it happen. And then months or even years later, when they've got it all done to perfection, they sit back and they say, hmm, maybe now it's time to get some business. And then if they still have some money left, they sign up for one or more of the pay-to-play services. They audition and audition and audition and audition, and then they wait and wait and wait, and generally nothing happens. Oh, sure, they might occasionally book a job or two, but generally it's one and done. It's a drop in the bucket compared to everything they spent on getting ready. And then eventually here's what happens. Their microphone gathers dust in their shiny new home studio. Their spouse gives them the look, you know, the look that says, I told you so. And they hope and pray that all those friends and colleagues they told about their exciting new voiceover career would just, you know, forget about it, not bring it up. And eventually, they give up. They pack everything up and kind of hide it away in the back of the closet or up in the attic so they don't have to be reminded about one more thing that didn't work out in their life. This is sad. And that's why I'm doing this call tonight, because I don't want it to happen to you. Because, look, here's the problem. Most people who try to get into voiceover start by trying to make the market fit them. Let me say that again. Most people who try to get into voiceover start by trying to make the market fit them. They start by saying, oh, you know, it would be really cool to do character voices. I have all these crazy voices. And, or, you know, maybe I have a great voice. Maybe I can just, I can just hear myself on the History Channel. Or, you know, I sound like that guy on all the Allstate commercials. I could do that. I'll just put my voice out there, shout it from the rooftop with my website and all my cool new marketing materials, and the world is going to find me. They're going to beat a path to my door. Well, I got to tell you, in the business world, more fortunes are lost this way, with companies trying to sell a big idea without having any idea who their product is for or whether or not people even want what they're selling. You want Shark Tank? I do. You see this on Shark Tank all the time. And if you're old enough, you probably remember the dot-com boom and bust. When every two seconds, someone was trying to launch a new website with a ridiculous new product without doing the market research. Remember pets.com? They had that little hand puppet. I mean, they were notorious. They invested billions, and the thing tanked. There was the web van grocery delivery service. There are just a few famous flops. So let me take a sip of water. Hang on. What I believe the number one thing you should do first before you launch your voiceover career, this is what everybody gets wrong, before you even do your demo, is rather than trying to make the market fit you, you should do the research to find out where you fit the market. And start with your niche, your niche, your niche in mind. That's the number one thing you should do first. And what you're going to do is tailor, once you, just, once you pick that niche, you're going to then make all of your marketing 
materials, your website, everything, you're going to tailor everything to that niche. So the number one thing you should do first before you launch your voiceover career is to really research and pick your niche. Now, the great thing about voiceover today is that there's a lot of choice. I have identified at least 14 niche markets, and the very first thing you should do before you even do your demo is determine which of the 14 niche markets you'll go after first, because that's going to determine how your demo sounds, what you put on it. Now, this is a decision that confuses and stresses a lot of people. But I've got 13 key criteria you should look at to help you pick the niche you should start with. Now, I don't have time to walk you through all 13, but I can share two big ones with you right now, so listen up. Number one is your reading skills. Are you or are you not a fluid reader? And number two is, do you have what I call acting chops? Now, let me explain what I mean. So some niches like audiobooks and e-learning tend to have a very long scripts. Audiobooks, obviously, are books. They can be hundreds and hundreds of pages long. And with e-learning, you know, some of those are hundreds of pages as well. So if you aren't what I call a fluid reader, let's say you're a little dyslexic or you break down a lot, you make a lot of mistakes when you read, the audiobook and the e-learning niche will not be strong choices for you. But the commercials niche could be a great choice because the scripts are a lot shorter, usually not more than a single page. Now, by acting chops, I mean, do you have any acting experience? It doesn't have to be Broadway, but for example, did you act in school plays? Did you ever do any community theater? Did you ever take acting classes in high school or college? Did you ever take an acting workshop? Are you familiar with how to develop believable characters and the basic principles of acting, which are relaxation, concentration, and imagination, as defined by one of my acting teachers? Now, you can certainly learn basic acting skills for voiceover from us in our voiceover training institute at boot camp, but if these skills are already strong for you, niches that require strong acting skills would be a great place to start, like audiobooks, video games. So the number one thing people do wrong is they invest a ton of money in their demo, their website, their studio, and marketing materials, hoping that the market will fit them, hoping that the market will get them without having a clue about the market or which niche they can effectively serve and then created a, dem a demo and then creating marketing materials to attract that targeted group of customers and to create marketing that tells those customers that they understand their needs. So I believe you should start with the market in mind. Start with the niche before you even do your demo. And here's an example. Matthew Rosenzweig is one of my students, and based on his skills and background, one of the ways we positioned him was as the voice of the average guy for the commercials niche. And here's what he told me. I just wanted to tell you I completed my first voiceover job this past week for an animated video about a mouth rinse product. They wanted my voice because they were looking for the voice of the average guy. The spot's to be used on their website. It'll appear on YouTube as a pop-up ad. They were pleased with my recorded recording and gave me a check on the spot. And best of all, I didn't even have to audition to get the job. When it all comes together, this voiceover thing is a blast. We know that. That's why we're here. Now let's move on to my next point. Let's talk about the three immutable, unchangeable laws of voiceover success that will catapult you ahead of the competition. Now if you have your hand out, look for the big triangle because this is where you're going to write those in. So let's write the three laws of voiceover on each point in the triangle. On the top, I want you to write the who is more important than the what. And this is what I was just talking about. So the who is your potential customer, your niche. And the what 
is you and all your stuff, your demo, your marketing materials, etc. Before you can create any of that, you really need to determine and decide who you are for. Now on the bottom left, I want you to write, my mindset is more important than my microphone. My mindset is more important than my microphone. So right now, I'm going to unmute everybody. I want everybody to say together, my mindset is more important than my microphone. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm having a ball doing this. This is hysterical. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Now, I spent – It's so. this is so important. If you know me, you hear me talk all the time about how I, I go to Brazil – I spent actually six weeks a year working on my mindset. Uh, many years ago, I happened to meet uh, this amazing um, psychoanalyst philosopher. His name is Dr. Norberto Campi. He is my mentor. And he has a, uh, uh, a clinic in Brazil. He has an institute down there. They have a college. They have language schools based around his work. This is a deep scientific methodology of human human potential, and it is the secret sauce that has kept me going and growing year after year. Now, we can do an entire course just based on Kepi's work, and you know what? I'm currently developing one. But a tiny piece of that is Kepi's take on procrastination. And just to give you a hint of, of what this is all about, again, it's just, just deep, so it's hard for me to give it like a bullet point, but the point is, if I were to ask most people why they procrastinate. I think a lot of people would say, well, I'm procrastinating because I fear success. And Kepi would say, no, no, no. You don't fear success itself. You fear seeing how you resist success. So one of Kepi's key points, one of his key discoveries is, is something, a concept he calls inversion. So that would mean that we unconsciously feel that goodness is not so great for us. And it's actually the hardest thing for us to accept on a very deep, unconscious level. And so we're upside down around that. And that's one of the key mindset pieces I had to come to grips with about why I was resisting growing my career at some of those key points in my life, various key points. You know, it's deep. But I promise you I'm going to have more more in-depth information on this to, to help you out. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. Now, the bottom right of the triangle, I want you to write the letters L-C-V. And that stands for Lifetime Customer Value. And that's where voice over fortunes are made. So I used to think that the game in voiceover was booking the big one. You know, you get that commercial and you're like the voice of Estee Lauder. You're the voice of the Ford campaign. I used to think that that's how you get rich in voiceover. But you know what? It's not true. Sure, that can happen. I hope it happens to you. But really, voiceover fortunes are made day after day, year after year, keeping the same customer and ensuring that they keep coming back for more by being professional, by giving them great audio, by not screwing up, by making friends with them, by being their partner in their work. So I'm going to tell you a true story. After I've been doing this full time for about 12 years, uh, you know, I had one corporate customer that was, was a good customer. You know, they kept coming back month after month, year after year, very, very big company. And one day I said to myself, I'm really curious how much money I made with these guys. So I went into my marketing and uh, my accounting software, into QuickBooks, and I opened it up and I nearly fell off the chair. I had made $1 million two hundred thousand dollars from one customer starting with one little three hundred fifty dollar job and they kept coming back again and again for 12 years like an oil well and they paid off big time and that continues to happen to this day i mean we have i have a very busy production company now where some of the I'm the voice for some of my customers, but some of them are are other voice talents that that we hire. 
but it's the lifetime customer value where voiceover fortunes are made, that LCV. And I've actually created a process for helping you get this. I call this my R3 process, which stands for retain, repeat, and get referrals. So retain the customer, ensure they repeat coming back to you, and encourage them to give you referrals. That is how you make big money in voiceover. It's kind of a long game, and that's great. So here's a great, uh, an example of lifetime value from one of our students, Moses Andrade, who actually happens to be a pastor, and his name is Moses, if you can believe it. So he's doing voiceover on the side. And he wrote that he just signed a contract with a Washington-based think tank to read a primer on what is the G20. <laughs> it's the kind of thing a think tank would do a voiceover on, right? And to date, he says, with just this one client, he's earned $13,500. And he writes that usually I would have second-guessed myself, but not this time, and it's transferred to other areas of my life, too. I give Susan's thorough but humane approach must cred much credit for this mindset shift. And I have other clients as well, and I'm excited to continue building my voiceover business. That's really thrilling. And that guy, that guy's a pastor. You know, he's not even, it's like really hard to get him to get out there and sell and market himself. But anyway, you can see that the money he's making from repeat business, just one client is really adding up fast, right? So now let's move on to my third point, and that is how to spot voiceover BS and save yourself from getting discouraged and spinning your wheels as you market your services. So what exactly is voiceover BS? Well, it's people saying that the same people get all the work, why, so why bother? Has anyone ever said that to you? Have you ever heard that? I know I think you have. Or maybe you've heard celebrities get all the work, so why bother? Or the market is completely saturated, so why bother? Well, actually, people who say that are ignorant. They're ignorant of the size and scope of the 14 niche markets. Let me give you some statistics, people. Don't you look up on Google? <laughs> look, the e-learning niche, the e-learning niche is a $165 billion niche. Billion with a B. Video games, $91 billion. Audiobooks, $3.5 billion. And I got to tell you, James Earl Jones is a, is a busy man, but he can't do all that work. I promise you, he cannot. So the same people absolutely do not get all that work. And let's talk a little bit about saturation. Now, it is true that Voices.com has 200,000 people registered for their services. I got that from somebody at Voices.com just yesterday. Now, not all of them are active talent. I hope not. I think they've got maybe something like 20,000 people that are active talent paying them and auditioning. Um, but suffice it to say, there are a lot of those people auditioning on pay to play and a lot of competition for each audition. Okay? But that's not the whole picture. And that's why now more than ever you need a system for getting voiceover work without auditions so you don't have to jump in that crazy, what I call voiceover shopping mall. And I just want to go on the record here by saying, you know, it's, a, it's probably actually a good idea to use the pay-to-play services if that's not the only thing you do. Because every once in a while, people do book great stuff there, and it's great practice if you're a beginner. So I do think it's a good thing to do, but please don't stop there. You must have a marketing program that you work in addition to those auditions. And by the way, the market is far from saturated. When you look at those numbers, I mean $165 billion for e-learning, $91 billion for video games, $3.5 billion for audiobooks. You know, only a tiny percent of those jobs are auditioned for on the pay-to-play. The rest are cast privately. And there are many, 
many, many voice buyers out there, not just in the United States, but all over the world. I have students outsourcing their voices to India, to Germany. And all those people are waiting to make your acquaintance. Why? Because they need you. They have a problem. They have a job to do. And if you are a voice buyer, you have no idea what a hassle it is to find good talent and use those casting services. I mean, the people at Voice123 and Voices.com are good people. They designed a fantastic interface. But i got to tell you, in my office at my production company, Mark, who I, a lot of you know, our talent advisor, also does a lot of our casting, and so does Chris in our, uh, pr our production manager. And when they have to go on those pay-to-play sites, they're spending hours there. So don't you think that if you did good marketing and you met these people outside of an audition, they'd be happy to know you? Yes. They're thrilled to know you. So really, what they're looking for is someone who is professional that they can trust. And if you reach out in a professional way, if you talk their talk and speak their language figuratively or maybe even literally, they'll be thrilled to talk to you. Last night, I was on the line with one of our customers in our voice town who's Chinese talking to another client of ours who's Chinese, and they were talking in Chinese. <laughs> she's busy because she speaks that foreign language. So you're saving them time. You're helping them solve a problem, your customer focus. Like my Platinum Coaching member, Karen Kagalis, who wrote me today saying, this week I got two new clients. I made five calls. I got two new clients. You taught me everything I needed to know. You gave me confidence to allow voiceover to be a life option for me. Thank you for your support, guidance, patience, mentorship, and friendship. You've been an instrumental force of change in my life. I still hear your words in my head, and I see the compassion in your eyes. That's from Karen Kagalis, and this, folks, is why I do the work I do. So, so far, you've discovered the number one thing you must do first to launch your voiceover career so you can actually find real paying jobs. And that's to do what? Well, to figure out who you're for before you go ahead and get all your stuff together. And almost everyone gets this wrong, but not you. And you're now going to start with your niche in mind. You learn the three immutable laws of voiceover success that are going to catapult you ahead of the competition, which are the who is more important than the what, mindset matters more than microphone, and that voiceover fortunes are made from lifetime customer value. And then we talked about voiceover BS, so you can save yourself from getting discouraged. And that is that there are plenty of multi Billion dollar niches in voiceover. Audiobooks, e learning, and video games are just three of them. And that means there's plenty of work for everyone and for you, even and especially if you have a proven system for marketing your voice. And when you do, you're going to be able to enjoy the great life and the shortest commute of all the work from home part time voiceover entrepreneur. So now you're probably wondering well, how do I make this all happen, Susan? Well, listen, you have two choices. You can go on YouTube, and you can follow the advice of a kid in his basement and progress at a snail's pace by trial and error. You can also see some of my videos, too, on YouTube, but that's beside the point. Uh, or you can use my Mic to Money marketing system to succeed in voiceover like so many of my students you've been hearing about tonight. So I want you to go over with me now. Get online, open up a browser, and go to Mike2Money.com. And that is spelled M-I-C-T-O-M-O-N-E-Y. -E Mike2Money, M-I-C-T-O-M-O-N-E-Y. -E now, as you're getting settled and you're finding that site, I want to tell you who this marketing program I just created isn't for. Mic to Money is not for you if you're unable or unwilling to present yourself professionally as a voiceover artist. Mic to Money is not for you if you're unreliable and flaky. Mic to Money is not for you if you enjoy tricky or manipulative sales and marketing practices. And Mic to Money is not for you if your goal is to simply get rich quick. 
So that's MikeToMoney.com. Let's talk about what you receive with that program. So Mike to Money is a live implementation training. It's a six-week teletraining, which I'm going to teach, and I'm going to guide you step-by-step step through everything you need to market and sell your voiceover services. So first off, you're going to get my guidance to help you target your ideal voiceover niche to keep you focused on your way to success, including the 13 key criteria I was talking about that you should follow to pick your ideal voiceover niche, the one you're most suited to serve. Next, I'm going to show you how and where to find your best, your most qualified leads and turn them into paying customers. Growing your voiceover should be fun, and I'm going to help you make it fun, easy and stress-free because I've got plug-and-play Mic to Money marketing system. And finally, you're going to discover how to keep your customers coming back again and again so you can grow your voiceover business beyond what you ever dreamed possible, that lifetime customer value. You're going to get my proven templates. You're going to get my tips for everything you need, including websites, postcards, telephone scripts, price sheets, all the email templates, the rate presentation template, time management secrets, and more so you can effortlessly grow your voiceover business. It's Mike. To money .com. So join me as I walk you through my four-step monetize your voice format. I've got each piece of the puzzle explained in a concise, simple to follow, easy to reference format that gets you the results you want as quickly as you want. And here's a sample of some of the secrets that you learn. Because the who is more important than the what, I'm going to share my secret formula for finding a treasure chest full of your ideal voiceover clients in your perfect niche so you can forget auditions and cattle calls. You're going to enjoy a thriving voiceover career working part-time from home where you can practically pick your projects and name your price. I'm going to help you zero in on the best opportunities that are perfectly suited to your voice and the unique skills you've already developed in your working life. Now imagine work, booking work without the hassle and anxiety of endless, time-sucking auditions. Follow my lead, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to teach you how to avoid what I call random acts of marketing, RAM, that leave you frustrated, disappointed, and discouraged. You know what a random act of marketing is. You, turn, you, you send out a postcard today. You know You make one phone call a month. It's not good. Well, my Mic to Money system is a proven marketing machine you're going to install in your voiceover business to keep the bookings coming month after month and year after year. I've got worksheets. I've got secrets. I've got tips for inexpensive, beautiful voiceover websites that are not going to cost you a fortune and you can get done quickly. And I've got other marketing tools for you. You are going to be market ready in no time without spending a fortune or stressing over where to get the help that you need. I'm going to show you how to get top dollar for your voiceover services. This is key. With or without an agent, I've got secrets for eloquently, elegantly overcoming price objections as easily and effortlessly as waving a magic wand. I'm going to include templates for rate sheets and scripts to follow every step of the way as you negotiate the best price for your voiceover services. And because I know you know your mindset is more important than your microphone, because I heard you say it, I'm doing an entire module on the mindset secrets from Dr. Kepi to help build your confidence and keep you focused and on track. And I'm going to share the latest cutting-edge scientific research on how to live a healthy, successful life coming from the Kepi Pacheco Institute of Trilogical Studies in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Now, there's going to be live Q&A during each session. There will be time for you to ask questions and get them answered so you stay on track and succeed with this system. And four weeks into the course, I'm going to hold an additional Q&A only session, one call that's entirely Q&A. Plus in May, after the program is completed, I'm going to have another live Q&A session to make sure no stone is left unturned and that all of your questions are answered. And I'm doing all this because I ardently want this to be the best program you've ever gone through, and I want you to write to me so I can brag about your voiceover success. And 
because I know how busy you are, I'm including MP3s, audio recordings, transcripts, and other resources in each session. You can listen in your car, while you exercise, while you make dinner. This is a program that fits your busy life. If you can't make a session, no worries. I've got you covered. You'll have access to recordings and transcripts of each implementation session for life. Plus, if you ever want to reinforce the training, you can just go through the program again. Oh, yeah, and we just we added a private Facebook page for Mike to Money members. And there you can network and make friends with your fellow students, ask questions, get support, share your victories. And here's when the training starts. Again, it's done by uh, an interactive conference call. You can even dial in on your phone. All the calls are from 8 to 9 Eastern, and we start Thursday, April 13th, next Thursday. And we go through May 18th, and I've got live Q&A calls on May 3rd and May 24th. And again, don't worry if you can't make a live call. Everything's being recorded and transcribed. You can listen at your convenience, and you're not going to miss a thing. So if you're ready to get started, you know you want to jump on board, go to miketomoney.com and click the link at the top of the page. Now, here's the bottom line. By the end of this six-week training, you are going to have your Mike to Money marketing system completed and ready for you to use and profit from. Now, remember, this is not about giving you information. It's about implementation and getting you results fast. And in fact, if you've already invested in a demo in your home studio equipment and in a website, this is a perfect implementation program to help you make the most of and maximize your investment. So right now, go on over to MikeToMoney.com, and it is Mike T.O. Money, not Mike number two, Mike T.O. Money. And here's what I got for you. I've got some special bonuses. If you're one of the first 40 people to enroll before 9 o'clock on Monday, April 10th, you're going to receive my Fast Action Bonus Package, if the bonuses are still available, which include a certificate for a private 30-minute marketing strategy call with me. Now imagine what you and I can accomplish together in this private coaching session as I answer your questions and laser focus on your voiceover career. That's got a $600 value. You, If you're one of the first 40 to respond, you get that with this program. And then I'm adding another bonus, which is what I call a golden ticket to monthly office hours with me. So if you're feeling stuck, if you need help for, or a question relating to your voiceover career, if you want to celebrate a success, uh, we're going to remind you of those office hours every month. And um, simply send me an email, and I will get back to you. And I want to congratulate Trent Fogelman, who was the first to sign up. Hey, Trent, as well as Lang Beak and Janine Siegel. So thank you, guys. That's terrific. Uh, they went over to MikeToMoney.com, took advantage of the bonuses, and um, actually, when you go there, if you see the message on the pe on the page that uh, that about those bonuses, you know you are one of the fortunate 40, and you got there in time to get your fast action bonus package. Now, let me tell you about the guarantee. I'm guaranteeing this program. It is an unconditional three implementation session money back guarantee. So you can enroll now, go through the first three implementation sessions by Friday, April 28th. And if you don't agree, it's everything I say it is and more, just let us know for a fast, no questions asked refund. Now, frankly, I know with a shout, without a shadow of a doubt that what you're going to receive is pure gold. It works not just for me, but for everyone who uses it. For example, Dorian Taylor, one of our students just wrote and said, I recorded my first paid voiceover booking on the voice on a video that will introduce a new cell imaging instrument to people around the world. And I made $200 for 40 minutes. Woohoo! Thanks to the rate card I adapted from the one you sent me. I am so excited. And of course, that rate card template is included with your Mike to Money system at MikeToMoney.com. So here's the deal Mike to Money is for a limited time $747 or two payments of $397. And if you're one of the first 40 to enroll, you're going to receive that certificate for 30 private a 30 minute uh, private strategy call we go again. Hey, congratulations. I'm seeing Larry Dunn just signed up, JJ Paris and Barbara Welling. Congratulations, guys. Barbara Wellens. 
terrific to have you back. I can't wait to work with you again. And, uh, you know, it's at MikeToMoney.com, and I want to see your name next. So let's talk about some frequently asked questions. What's, the first question is, what specifically will I have when I finish this class that I don't have today? Well, by the time this workshop is finished, you're going to have everything you need to implement a fully functioning mic to money marketing system in your voiceover business. So you can convert prospects to buyers and buyers into multi-buyers week after week, year after work, year after year. I can't be any simpler than that. That's what you're going to have when you, when you um, implement the mic to money system from miketomoney.com. Now, Somebody else wants to know, what if I'm just getting started and don't have my demo yet? Will this still work for me? Well, absolutely. In fact, that's the idea. You're very smart to take this course now at the beginning of your training. See, most people get it wrong. Most people are inverted. Most people go through, get their training first, they do their demo first, and then they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, nobody taught me how to market. I forgot how to market. No, you learn to market First, you learn to find your ideal niche, and then you make your demo, then you get your training. Do this first. It's the smart way. The madness is doing what everybody else is doing and not and getting the same non-results, which are auditioning and auditioning and auditioning and being frustrated all the time. So, you know, most people spend months and even years getting ready to launch their voiceover business. And when they finally make their demo, they're ready to go, they don't have a clue about exactly what to do to make money and sell their services. Not you. <laughs> so you see, the Mike to Money marketing system is all about getting the know-how you need in a real voiceover business where people actually pay you money for your skills. And we believe this is a fundamental skill as vital as learning performance skills and making your demo. This is where we shine at the Great Voice Company. So you should learn these skills first. You should get on board at MikeToMoney.com. And I see Melvin Arnold. Congratulations. And Jennifer Taylor, welcome on board. Congratulations for investing in yourself and in the Mike to Money program. So how's this workshop going to be delivered? Well, it's delivered by scheduled live conference calls with me, Susan Berkeley. You don't have to travel. I know that's great these days. What the heck? None of us wants to, you know, look forward to going to the airport. Uh, but each week a new module will unlock at which time you're going to receive access to all the training, all the worksheets, and downloads you need to complete for that week's assignments. And we like to update the content when needed as this allows you to log in from any computer from around the world and receive the information at any time. So, you know, MikeToMoney.com is where you go to sign up for this. Another question, why should I invest in this training today as opposed to waiting until later? Like maybe you're thinking, well, you know, okay, I'm going to go out there on not just YouTube. I'm going to buy some books about voiceover, uh, you know, talk to some people in the forums. And I'm going to try to make some money myself, and then I'll invest in this program. Well, this marketing concept and system has been proven and road tested over many years. And it's the first time I'm personally teaching the Mike to Money system in this particular live interactive format. So we consider it a pilot, and we're planning to increase the price significantly next year in 2018. But more importantly, why would you want to wait? Why would you want to delay the creation and rollout of your Mike to Money marketing system? This is the first, most critical step to growing a successful voiceover business. I see Erica Holden gets, gets it. She just invested. Hey, congratulations, Erica. Good job. Uh, MikeToMoney.com. Um, another question. How much overlap is there between this and other great voice trainings, such as your voiceover boot camp? Well, certain themes, you know, like niche markets and the three R's, might be familiar to our more tenured great voice students. But the information covered in the Mike to Money voiceover marketing system is both new and unique to the Great Voice Catalog. So don't wait. You need to jump in this now. Now, somebody else asked, what if I'm not tech savvy? Will I be able to implement everything I'm learning? Well, look, you don't have to be tech savvy, savvy but you can't be a technophobe and hate computers if you want to succeed, not just in this workshop, but in voiceover and business in general today. 
But that being said, if you're comfortable with basic Internet and email usage and you're willing to do a Google search or two, you should be just fine. So this is not like home studio recording. This is just you basically knowing how to use your computer. That's enough for this particular program. And remember, you're also getting private one-on-one -on -one support as a bonus with this workshop, and that includes technical-related questions. So you want to sign up right now, miketomoney.com. And then finally, what if, this, what if this training isn't a fit or it doesn't meet my needs for some reason? Well, no problem. I'm offering, as I said, a full 100% money-back three-session guarantee. So if you register for the workshop, tonight, get those bonuses, and by April 28th, if you participate in the first three sessions and you don't agree it's worth every penny, we're going to promptly refund your money. That's it. No questions asked and no hassle. And what's going to happen after you complete your registration at MikeToMoney.com? Well, after you submit your order, you're going to receive an email to create a username and password, and this is how you access the members area, which is where you'll download the handouts and access the first training modules. And you also receive an email confirmation of your purchase for your records. Someone else wants to know, um, well, can, can I access the training all at once, or do I have to go through it week by week? And while we can appreciate that our students are excited and wish to pro progress through the training as quickly as possible, we know from experience that um, you get the best results when you proceed at the recommended rate. And I see Marty Barsnack just signed up. Hey, Marty, congratulations. I'm thrilled to have you aboard. I can't wait to work with you. Uh, so how long will you have access to the online workshops? That's what somebody else wants to know. And the answer is indefinitely. Now, while the class itself is six weeks long, you're going to have ongoing access to the video lessons and the handouts, and you can repeat and enjoy the training whenever you like. And then the last question, what if I have questions or if I need support? We're here to help. You just simply submit any questions you have to our support team via email at support at greatvoice.com. And now I want to answer any other questions that I, didn't, that I didn't get to. So if you have a question, press star 2, or if you just want to give me a shout out and share something with me, star 2 on your phone. I see, oh good, lots of questions coming in. I see Aaron, I see Lados, I see somebody in New York. Okay, let me unmute first. Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Aaron Stout, the phone, it's uh, ends in 6481. Hey. Can you hear me? How are you doing? Hi. Yep. Oh, great. Hey. Susan, I'm having trouble finding the site, unfortunately. Could you spell it again for me? I've tried different sure. variations. I can't spell it. Find it. Yeah, no problem. It's Mike2Money.com. That's M-I-C-T-O-M-O-N-E-Y.com. Yeah, don't don't put the number two in there. It's it's Mike2Money.com. And I'm Got on it? Google, and it's still not. No, it's still not coming up for me. I can't figure really? out. Really? Yeah. Mike2Money.com. We tested it and tested it, M-I-C-T-O-M-O-N-E-Y dot com. Well, you know what you can do? If you can't get on, um, I see Mark is going to help him out. Uh, you can also send an, an email to support at greatvoice dot com. So for some reason the site's not coming up for you if you're having technical problems, email support at greatvoice.com. Mark will get back to you, and he will uh, get you registered for the program. So thanks for your call. I really appreciate it. All right, so now I have another call in Norfolk, Virginia. It looks like Lidos. Hi there, in Norfolk. Hi, it's J Hi Susan. It's Hi. JJ Paris. It's just my company phone. Um, oh, JJ. Are I have, you would yeah, go ahead. I I'm a little confused where you say you have to get your niche first, but you also said don't decide what you're going to do and try to get the market to fit you. They see, that seems to be contradictory to me, and I'm not sure. I'm having trouble getting my head wrapped around that. Okay, sure. Great question. Let me clarify that for you. What I mean is get your niche first. Get to know the market, and then you will take a look at your strengths and see – how you can best serve that market. So you, you invested in the program, didn't you? Yes, I did. Congratulations. 
I'm so happy you're here. I'm going to take you through a whole process to find your ideal niche as part of the training so that okay. you don't make the mistake. What I'm trying to keep people from doing, uh, JJ, which I feel so many people doing, what they do is they say, you know, world, this is me. This is what I re I'm really passionate about doing documentaries. But the market doesn't want them for documentaries. I'll give you my own personal example, okay? So when I started out, I thought, you know, I really want to do commercials. I could see myself doing that. The market wanted me for voice prompts. And I wasn't going to say no. Fortunately, I said yes. I mean, I, that became my niche. Does that make sense to you? Was that helpful? I think so. Thank you. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with you, JJ, in the program is we're going to sit down. We're going to really take a look at the skills you're bringing to the table, where you are right now. And then we're going to go out there and see what the market needs are. We're going to match you, uh, but you to make you customer-focused rather than talent-focused. Okay? Yes, thank you very much. You are very welcome, and congratulations. Welcome aboard. Okay, so the next one, I have somebody in New York City. There's no name. The call ends in 7044. Who's that? Hey, New York. I just unmuted your phone. Cell phone ending in 7044. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I can't get you. Uh, now I'm going down to Keys, Florida. Looks like Shelly. Wisner. Hey, Shelly. Shelly, you there? I'm Hi, Susan. The it's Shelly. Hey. Hi. Hey, Shelly. So Shelly came to my boot camp. I'm really glad to hear your voice. How are you yes. down in Key West? How's Key West? Oh, hot. <laughs> hot, but it's better than being cold. Um, um, in reference to, hi, Susan, I haven't talked to you in so long. I just wanted to let you know I'm still working on it, and um, I wanted to shout out to you. Uh, I want to do this uh, with you, but I have had something come up, so I'll catch you on mine um, okay. for the two payments. I'm on it, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you have you Monday so much. to get the bonuses. Thank you so much. I'm Beautiful. I'm thrilled thank you. that you're going to join us. Uh, Me talk to too. You. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Thanks, bye. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Mark is <laughs> just texting me, tell Shelly she needs to speak to me about Vody. <laughs> All right. Now, I see I've got a couple more sales here. I'm so thrilled. Hey, welcome Gail Grimm, Bradley Hellman, and Kelly Rice. Congratulations. I'm so happy you are going to join me. Welcome aboard. Now, let's go to Colton, California. Colton, California. I see a cell phone ending in 1575. Hey there. I've unmuted you. Hi, Susan. My name's Karen. Hi, Karen. Hey, a um, couple of things. First of all, I had taken the started with the perfect performance classes that were available. I guess they kind of yes. initiate you into things. Life really did happen, and I couldn't finish them. So that's where right. I'm at. But then this came up, and um, I wanted to know, is this still a good time for me to do this? I don't have equipment or anything, but I'm still – interested. So is this a good yes. process to invest in? Absolutely. And let me tell you why. Um, that's the whole point that I was trying to make. And by the way, thanks for investing in Perfect Performance. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Uh -huh. I still have some stuff to finish, but I am enjoying <laughs> okay. it. Yes. Okay, great. All right. So listen, here's the deal. Um, you. The point is that I want you, to, I'm trying to keep you from having what I call grit -ger, getting ready to get ready, buying equipment and buying a whole bunch of stuff where you have no clue who you're going to market to. I'm going to teach you the marketing first so that when you make your demo and when you get your home studio equipment, you're going to be ready to go. Because if not, what will happen is you'll make that big investment in the studio and your demo and have no clue what to do. So... The other reason you want to do your marketing first, if you're a beginner, is so that when you do your demo and I help you pick your niche, you're going to know how to make the demo. Does that make, a, make sense? You're going yeah. to target the demo for a certain market segment. Okay. That makes sense to me. All right? Yep. Thank okay. you so much. You're very welcome. All right. And then we, I am going to – looks like Kamano um, – Marysville, Washington. Susan? Hi, Mary. Hi there. Hi, it's Phone Vicki in. in Camano Island, Washington, actually. <laughs> okay, Vicki, sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. Everybody pronounces it wrong. 
Hey, I just wanted to uh, – I couldn't get you either the mic to money on dot com on Google. I had to go to the edge because I have Windows 10 and it wouldn't. Okay. Google wouldn't bring it up. Anyway, I'd love to do this, but I hope I can do this, but I'm trying to do this. And okay. Anyway, I, I just wanted to say that because we're, uh, I, I spent like 10 minutes trying to get on to that, and I finally found it. Well, I'm so sorry about that, and I, I, uh, that's some kind of technology. But, again, look, you can if, – guys, if you can't get on to the website at miketomoney.com, go just send an email to support at greatvoice.com, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, and Mark will get back to you and will get you registered for the program. So we apologize. We tested that thing. 80 times today, and uh, you know how technology is. So thanks for letting me know. Yes, well, thank you. All right, be well. Bye now. Uh, okay, so now I see uh, Linda. Hey, Linda Tyree, one of my voting hey. students. How are you? Hun? I know. I'm great. I was just going to tell you, the, what you have to do is go out to do www.miketomoney.com because if you just Google money to got money, Mike to money, there are lots of other websites that it'll take you to. There's lots of other websites with that very same name. So you Get have out. to put in the www dot and then do it and it'll come up. Because I did the same thing. I looked and I thought, I'm going to see what this is. And got all these other weird, not weird, but websites uh, for other types of voiceover stuff. So oh my goodness, you just might need terrible. to be aware of Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, good. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. Yes. So again, you need to type, folks. www.mike2money.com. We need those W's. Linda, thank you so much. Have a good night. You're welcome. Okay. Bye now. Okay. Now, over in Orlando, Florida, I see Stanley Yates. Hey, Stanley. Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound great. Oh, thank you. I was going to mention the same thing. I tried the www, and it still wouldn't work. Still wouldn't work. Send an email to su- support at greatvoice.com <laughs> okay, and we'll talk do. to we'll uh, Mark. I'll definitely do Try that. Try it on your phone, too, if you can. www.miketomoney.com. Yep, I've done that, but okay, I will. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Thank you, Stanley. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. And we just heard you had Kurt Donnersbach sign up for the program. Hey, Kurt, welcome back. I'm thrilled to have you. Kurt, I also met at boot camp. So that's great. I guess a few people are finding their way over there. Uh, I see Linda Solomon in D.C. I've just unmuted your mic. Hi, Linda. Thank you. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. Thanks for your call. Good. Um, I'm... Linda actually told uh, everybody the thing that I had a problem with, right? But also, I just tried to go on to the URL, URL type in my right. um, dot com. So it did take me somewhere to say voice dot com and more. So I just want to You're breaking up. Thing. I can't hear you. But you, Okay. I'm on a cell phone, so I wasn't even sure if it was going to work this way. But... Um, I just wanted to let you know that there's another way to do it to money.com and it'll pop up and go to okay. where you want to go. But I okay, wanted to thank you all, for all of this information, and, and that's pretty much it. I, I, I won't do it this time, but because I'm a student, I won't get my, my clothes into it. But when your next uh, one comes up, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, thanks for your call. I appreciate it. And Denise Winters just signed up. Hey, congratulations, Denise. I appreciate you, and I'm so glad I'm going to get to work with you. Uh, Dan Wilson, hey, Dan, got a question in Baltimore? Yeah, yeah. how are you doing? Actually, I'm in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, moved from Baltimore uh, recently. Yeah, those those pesky cell phones, they they tend to follow us, right? <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't want to change the number. But um, so I guess one of my questions, and I don't know if it's, it's an answer you can give a, a monetary value to, but I guess what I'm looking for is, the total investment to go into doing, uh, you know, voiceovers with the courses and then and then the equipment. Um, and then afterward, I could probably give a little bit of technical advice to some of the people having some problems. <laughs> well, what would you be kind enough to do that first? Sure, sure. Uh, so I've, I've heard a couple of things. I'm actually 23 years in the IT business. I, I kicked off 
in radio doing internships when I was in high school, and then I ended up doing uh, technology, and I want to get back into doing voiceovers. But so um, I've heard a couple things. One, if you're on Microsoft Edge, if you're on Windows 10, um, you can still use Internet Explorer, and it's still loaded. So just go to go into your program menu, and you'll you'll find Internet Explorer, and that might be uh, something helpful because Microsoft Edge is is a different kind of browser. The other, the second thing is definitely put the www in front of it. Um, that okay. does make a difference if if you hadn't set that up. Um, and then the last caller that was breaking up was mentioning it, looking at it being a different website. Um, and that's called a redirect. I, I think Susan has it set up to you know when you go to Mike to Money, it's going to redirect to the main website where the, where the actual uh, page is hosted, yeah. but it's still still the Mike to Money website. So there's a couple different things going on, but um, right. But you know, they, they just follow a couple of simple steps. They should be able to get to it because it oh, was working. Oh, thank you so much, fine. Dan. I appreciate that. Now, I just want to say, uh, Mark just texted me and said, um, if you're having trouble, email him directly at mark at greatvoice dot com. It's mark at greatvoice dot com. And a couple more people signed up: Randall Watson, Dwayne Bowles, and Ernie Hodge. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm so I'm so glad. So, how can I help you? Wanted to know, like, what is your more or less your total investment going to be to start a voiceover career? Yeah, exactly. It, to to put a small studio in the house to to you know, obviously, I can see the cost to to join your course or or you know, maybe take advantage of some of the discounts now. But what would be the realistic sort of investment to to do something like this? Oh, sure. You know, it's a great question, and the news is really, really good. Uh, Dan, the, the, because the cost of equipment has come down so much in recent years. And I actually, I in my studio, I had invested like um, uh, $1,000 on an AKG microphone, and I literally traded it in for a $300 microphone because the $300 mic sounds much better. So I'm now using um, a bottle baby blue microphone for 300 bucks. And when I travel, I use a $200 Apogee microphone, and I've actually recorded broadcast uh, voiceovers on a $200 mic. It's great. It's a terrific microphone. I don't know if that's Moore's Law or whatever it is, but the um, the quality of technology is going up while the price is going down. So you can get, uh, let me recommend to everybody two really great mics that are very inexpensive. One is this Apogee. Uh, which is a USB microphone, A-P-O-G-E-E. And the other is a uh, a Yeti mic from Blue, a Blue Yeti microphone. And those are about $100, Dan. Now, okay. the other thing that I'm going to recommend is that, and this is brand new, that you get a Chaotica eyeball. I know it sounds really weird. And I, I, should, I do not have sponsorship money from them, and I should. But what this thing is, this thing has saved everybody's voice over life. It's a big foam ball that fits over the microphone that includes a pop screen in it. And what it does is it provides uh, sound treatment. So I'm not saying you, you don't need to, like, be mindful of where you're recording, but it will get rid of echoey, echoiness. And it'll you, it'll save you a lot of money in having to buy all this extra sound treatment. And if your room is quiet, you might want be able to get away with just that and your mic. And it's two hundred bucks. Okay. The, so, the software, and you, you're going to use whatever computer you have already. You don't have to go out and buy a new computer or a laptop or anything like that. The software is free, depending on what you use. You can get a free, thirty day free trial. Do you have a Mac or a PC? Uh, it's a PC. Okay. So, so a software that we really we use on all our PCs in the studio, we use uh, SoundForge, S O U N D F O R G E. It's a Sony product, and mm -hmm. get the home studio version. It's like sixty dollars, and you can do a thirty day free trial. See if you like it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, just got another sign up, Ryan Gallagher. Congratulations, Ryan. Found his way over to MikeToMoney.com with that www. <laughs> So any any other questions? I mean, that's pretty much it. It's really the technology, the, the the equipment is actually the least of your worries. You do not need to build a physical studio. You can record in a closet, or like I said, if your if your room is quiet, just get one of those two hundred dollar eyeballs, stick it on your mic, and you might just be good to go. 
That's that's perfect. I mean, I have, that's what I have. I have a very large closet, and um, yeah. and so now it's it's it makes a lot more sense. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for calling. Uh, okay, it's San Diego now. I've got a person with their phone ending in eight two one three. Hey, San Diego. Hi. Hi. Hi, Susan. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. So I just wanted to thank you for um i've been i've been following you for over a year now uh-huh. and i want to thank you for putting out your weekly videos oh, thank and you. uh, it's really helped me a lot as far as Good. you know just trying to get information and uh start the program uh-huh. and your last uh conference i signed up for your perfect performance and i'm working through that as well Oh, good, good, good. Well, so are you going to do, to, to, gonna do Mike to Money? Yes, I, I signed up, actually. Mm. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank I you. didn't have any problem getting on the website. I have the Windows 10 uh, Edge, and I just put in www, Mike to Money, and it worked fine for me. Yeah, I see. Mark just texted me and said, uh, Lang Beak accessed Mike to Money from Windows using both Internet Explorer and Edge. So, great. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome aboard. I'm thrilled you're there. I can't wait to work with you. Well, well, thank All you right. for being here. Be well. Sure. Thanks. Okay, now I've got somebody in Falmouth, Massachusetts. I don't. It's a number ending in 8803. I don't have a name. Hey there. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Sorry. Good evening to you. I just wanted to know if somebody who knows four languages like English, Hindi, Punjabi, if three Indian languages, and a voice like mine, and does that person stand any chance in this uh, field? I love your voice. Oh, it's so beautiful. You know what? You do stand a chance. We actually are going to want to know about you because we do a oh. lot of recording in other languages. Okay. So and now, I speak English fairly whole... well. So. Yeah, your English is beautiful. Are you kidding? But um, uh, those languages have a lot of value in voiceover because – it's a global marketplace. We actually do a lot of recording in other languages. And uh, Mark says, T- yes, tell him to get his business in order and talk with me. I'm telling you. So what does it mean to get his business in order? You have to know how to work, record professionally from home. Do you have a studio yet? Uh, well, not really. I've sent a few recordings to Mark, I think, but I'll send them all over again to you and to Mark. Now, don't send them to me. Send them to Mark. Okay. I, I don't want oh, to. Sure. I'll lose them. <laughs> I understand. That's why I, I have understand. Mark and Chris. I hired, that's why I hired Mark and Chris. So they can take care of that. But but he'll Thank he'll you. talk to you offline uh, sometime and tell okay. you what. Thank what you so much. I'll going. send them to Mark oh. again. And uh, um, if you want uh, some samples in the other languages, also I can do that. But I've got some in English right now. Yeah, he'll let you know. Actually, we real you, you're, those other languages are going to be more important. He's going to want to talk to you because he keeps a database of, of foreign languages, right. and okay. uh, we 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 need them. We never know when we're going to get a request. So, okay. thank you for calling. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Good thank luck you very to you. much. Appreciate it, Susan. God bless you. Sure. Bye-bye. Be well. You, you too. Bye. And now I have uh, Randy Watson. Hey, Randy. Hey, Susan. How are you? It's so good to hear your voice again, Randy. Just taken my perfect performance program we just ended the perfect performance in action did you invest in the program i did yeah you said my name actually oh okay uh, forgive me i'm in you know kind of busy <laughs> that well congratulations right. i'm so happy i'm going to be working with you do you have a question me too. no actually i wanted to try to help out uh too i'm a previous it guy um with yeah. the people not being able to get to the site what i found was there seems to be some sort of a filter that's going through a secure HTTP site. So uh-huh. the actual URL for Mike to Money was https colon slash slash greatvoice dot clickfunnels dot com. Yeah, that's, it is a redirect. So we use something called ClickFunnels that helps us right. with marketing. But, yeah, it is a redirect, so maybe that's messing some people up. Thank you for letting us know. I'm poor Darren, my, my tech guy. He and I have been working all week on this. So I'm going to tell him this tomorrow. I know what he's going to say. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that will be his re- – that's the to, tech, the tech throne. You know it too, Randy, don't you? Uh. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I look forward so, to talking hey, to you again. Yeah, congratulations, Randy. I can't wait to work with you again. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome aboard. Okay. All right. And, and now i got Denise Winters. Denise, hi. You invested too, hi. didn't you? Yes, hi. I did. 
But listen, uh, you know, I've taken a course. I've spent over three thousand dollars. A course. Yeah. I have a professional demo. I have a web page. Yeah. I have business mm-hmm. cards and all this. I have logo and stuff like that. Um, but what I work from, uh, I'm new to using uh, online. I have a tablet, yes. um, and so I want to uh, some advice on what to get because I'm limited in funds and now even more taking the course. <laughs> it's like a cycle, for God's sake. And, um, but, um, but I do want to mention one thing. Um, the type of laptop or anything that I use, the touch screen has to be able to um, be compatible with me because I have prosthetic hooks. Okay. And LG is the only one I have found when I got a tablet that responds. Hmm. So I would like some um, recommendations on do you, not being very green at all this uh, as to software and such, uh, what you would recommend and if you think LG would have what I would want. Okay. Would need. So this is an answer that I can't give you right now, but you're in the program, and that means you will have access to Christopher Fox, our amazing audio engineer. And this is exactly the kind of question that he can research for you. Because, frankly, we've never been asked that question before. So we will research it because I, I want to know. There must be accessibility options for you, and we're gonna, we'll do that. So, okay. so thank you for and bringing I that to our, our – Okay, I don't have a studio set up. That's a – you know, my house is in the midst of renovation, and it's at a standstill yeah. because of money. So everything right. comes down to money. And yeah. uh, so the demographics of setting up a studio is is really a challenge. Yeah, you know, it's not that big. The studio itself, as I was saying to that other gentleman I was talking to, I think it was Dan earlier, about um, – his home studio, the cost of the equipment is not that much. Your issue is the accessibility. So that's something that I think we can, um, you know, we'll look into, we'll research and find out, see if we can help you. And I do know my niche because um, my teacher, uh, I, do, I trained with uh, voice coaches, mm-hmm. uh, David Bourgeois, who's the production manager okay. of that company. Uh, okay. In either case, um, for uh, high-end commercials and narratives, and that's pretty much what my narr- my demo is about. Um, other than I have a web page, so I could really use some uh, information and who to talk to about expanding that because it's pretty basic. <laughs> well, you know, you might find out, uh, Denise. I'm a, I'm a minimalist, actually. I'm I one of the things that I help people with is getting the job done for as um, what I call it minimally acceptable. In other words, to get the job done without spending a fortune, and that's what I'm here for. So those are all the things that I can help you with. We'll take a look at. Um, you're in the program, for which okay. I'm very uh, grateful, and we'll work with you on all these issues. Okay. Thank you. Nice talking You're to you. You're very welcome. Yeah, you too. Thank you. All right, Bye. guys. Oh, now I have I have Vicky Liston. Hi, Vicky. Hey, Susan, how are you? I'm terrific. Wonderful to hear from you. You too. I figured I'd just be a quick live testimonial that this stuff actually works. Um, oh, for thank anybody you. <laughs> actually on the fence or not quite sure if this is the right way to go. Um, as you remember, I took your boot camp back in 2012, and, yeah. you know, I was the one that needed a little kick in the butt a little bit later. But uh, two years later, I signed with an agent. Um, I finished a voiceover for Delta Dental recently. They had, um, <laughs> they had hired me to do one character voice, and when I got in there, they ended up hiring me for four. So between that, PGA Golf, iPad apps, um, my agent ended up putting me into modeling. So voiceover has completely opened doors that I had no idea that they would open. So the stuff works. You've got to follow it, though. <laughs> I got lazy yeah. for a little while. But you follow it, and it completely works. 
Oh, Vicki, thank you so much, and congratulations. We had no idea you were doing so great. That's wonderful. So uh, thank you for calling. I really appreciate it. Sure. Continued success, okay? Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Now, Mark just uh, wanted me to tell you guys that if you have a question, I'll stay on the line. It's star two that will unmute your call phone because we still have like 114 people on the line now. Uh, star two will unmute your phone. And uh, let me see. I see uh, Bradley Bradley Hellman, 8-9. It's Hellman. Um, Hellman. Sorry, I mispronounced it. How are you doing tonight? It's- Pretty close. I'm doing very well. How are you, Susan? Good. I'm wonderful. Thanks. Uh, I had a quick question. I've been following you for uh, about the last two months or so, and uh, I'm located I'm located in the Chicago market, and uh, I'm actually a working uh, musician. I've been a 24 year working musician. Uh, that we do a lot of, uh, you know, uh, just remakes of songs for uh, commercial purposes and. So I have access to, a, you know, an actual professional recording studio with a partner, and we've always talked about wanting to do voiceovers. Um, I'm actually just getting over a bronchial infection, so uh, I, this is not the best that I sound. But, uh, uh, you yeah, know, it, it, <laughs> I mean, I'm very comfortable behind a mic, always have been. Um, and this is just an issue that I've always been curious about. Now, the... Uh, you know, like you had mentioned, New York uh, versus Chicago. I imagine Chicago is just as competitive uh, of a market as New York. And uh, but us being located more in the in the suburbs, do you tend to notice that the like you're saying, finding your niche market? Would you tend to say that that is a, as available in? the suburban area or is it more in the metropolitan area like do you see yourself you know finding that niche more like like in a downtown uh atmosphere or i mean is it it, could it just be anywhere oh well you know i got some great news for you bradley this is a global market it doesn't matter where you live that's true your but it's, niche, uh, yeah. it's not it, it's not location specific at all. We don't go out on auditions anymore. We do them from our home studios anywhere in the world. That's, that's exactly what had caught my attention when you had mentioned the usage of the internet, as far as you know, doing the the you know the e bites and things like that, instead of actually having to travel, you know, by a plane or you know, sitting in traffic to actually go to an actual audition, and uh, you know, and then and it just it was the whole concept that you had mentioned the niche. Uh, you know, when we were able to do that uh, on a musical point of view, that was when we had found our success musically. Um, When we were trying to be everything that we thought everybody wanted, uh, we were working and working and working and, you know, playing constantly, you know, but yet not reaping any financial benefits. And then when we actually looked at the market and said, you know, what does the market not have but need, once we keyed in on that, we actually – is that that's when we, we, we honed in and found our success uh, from on the musical end. Um, and that's where we're just hoping that uh, to expand uh, the business to include voiceovers, uh, you know, ourselves, as well as trying to uh, outsource other voiceover talent uh, that we could bring in. Because maybe, you know, someone likes my voice, maybe someone likes somebody else's voice. But, you know, either way, it's... Uh, it's just a matter of, of, of filling the customer's needs, like you had mentioned, and that's yeah. kind of what sold yeah. me on your program. Oh, great. Did you sign up? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, congratulations. Thanks, Bradley. No, thank you. I'm looking forward to, uh, yeah, to like you that. know. I just wanted to thank great. you. And like I said, I, I was, you know, I'm skeptical, and, uh, you know, I've been doing this a long time, but like I said, you, yeah. you, you touched on some really key points that, uh, you know, I personally believe in and that, uh, you know, I have seen work. Uh, just this is, you know, my first time uh, approaching the uh, the voiceover uh, market. So, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, I'll try anything once, you know, and give it 100% and see what happens. Wonderful. So That's great. And let me tell you something, Bradley. Our best students are mu- musicians. Yeah, well, that's it's, great to hear. It's a good thing. Well, it's, it's a good thing. It's, a, good of, it's a dedication. It's, the, you know, the no. You're going into something, giving 100% with no guarantee of getting anything out of it. So you do yeah. it more for the joy of it. You do it more for the love and the satisfaction of creating. Okay. And, uh, you know, so that I think that's something that anyone's capable of learning. But, uh, 
you know, you do have to be very, very patient. It does not happen overnight. That's right. That's right. Well, I I will do my very best to help you out. Thank you so much for investing in the program. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Be well. Thanks. Bye. Okay. I see uh, Christine Watts in South Bend, Indiana. Hey, Christine. Hello. How are you doing? I'm terrific. Thanks. How are you? I'm good. Actually, it's my mom. I'm using her phone. <laughs> oh, okay. What's your name? I'm actually Leah Watts. Hi, Leah. Hey, how you doing? Great. Okay, so I was wondering about the narration. I think that's probably yeah. my niche, is to narrate a documentary or something like uh-huh. that. Yeah. Um, and I just I just kind of wondered. That seem like it's, it's tough because it seemed like, like you were talking earlier in your conversation about sometimes a lot of the actors that get the job over over someone else, but... I, I oh, just no. feel like I feel you know, that without actually being an actor, per se. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, that's a great question because a lot of people think that. And it's it's obvious that they would because we turn on the TV and you hear all these actors whose voices you recognize, right? Right. Well, the truth is that there's so much work out there. And as I said, James Earl Jones can't do it all. <laughs> right, right. We just think the actors are doing it because we recognize their voices. No, there's... There's opportunity for all of us, but that's why you need to really understand how to reach the voice buyers and target your market. Okay. Do you have to have like a representation, a representative? Do you do represent, rep, no. representation like management? You don't do that? No, part? I don't. And you don't need an agent. And the point is that um, if, if there's people on this call, I'm sure, that have been represented by agents, the agents um, just send you on auditions. They don't actually get you work. They get you auditions. Right. You, so you don't need them. I built my entire career without an agent, okay. and I have them now. I have a few of them, and, and but I, quite frankly, I barely book any work through them. I get it following my method. Oh, okay. 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 Well, that's my question. <laughs> okay. Hey, About thanks for the call. Right. No, All right. You. Appreciate your okay, help. Okay, good night now. Bye. Uh, here's Bobby Bryant, who signed up. Hey, thank you, Bobby. Hi, Susan. Thanks so much for for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I just had a quick question. Uh, sure. How how do you know if you uh, receive the bonuses? Oh, you got them. You're you're in. Oh. Okay. You're good in. To know. And so what we're going to do is uh, send you you get the certificate for your um, private session with me and being being able to be on those. Uh, uh, office hours calls, you'll get all that next week. Oh, great. great. Okay, congratulations, Bobby. Hey, thank you. Uh, I look forward to working with you. Bye now. Okay. And then I, I have Tom Moran in Everett, Washington. Hey, Tom. Hey, it's Janine, actually. <laughs> I'm on my husband's Hi, Janine. Phone. You, you know, this happens all the time because the phone must be in Tom's name or whatever. So thank it's you. Good husband. to hear you. <laughs> Good to hear you. Thank you so much for your weekly videos. I've been probably listening to them for the last six, seven months, and they're oh, great. Oh, uh, thank you. I just have a couple questions. Um, I'm not sure. able to get onto your mic to money either. I don't know why, mm-hmm. but um, I guess get a hold of Mark. That's what you said. Yeah. So, and my other question is, I haven't really taken any voice training. So is it more important to take some voice training first or to take the um, Mike's Money course? No, not. First of all, let me. did you try www before Mike to Money? Yes, yeah, I did. Didn't work. Okay. And it all right. So anyway, no. you'll, you'll, you'll email, email Mark, M-A-R-K, at greatvoice.com, and he'll help you out. But let me answer your question, Janine. That's my point is no, it – uh, I'm, I'm encouraging you to start to learn the marketing piece first. It is the most valuable skill. Without it, you won't find work. You can always take a voiceover class. We have that. You know, we can teach you the skill. Right. We right. have a whole training program. But but I, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody to start with the marketing. That is the key piece that's going to keep you working and help you build a career. Otherwise, it's like, you know, you, you, you learned how to do it, and then you're like, huh, and it's months and months have passed, and, you know, you haven't done anything. So I really recommend you start here. 
Okay. Thank you. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I hope I see you in the program. Okay. Thank you. All right. Be well. Have a great night. Bye. Okay, folks. So, you know what? Oops. Hello? Okay. So, I um, we're at the end of our call. <laughs> you guys have been wonderful. I want to congratulate everybody that signed up for the Mike to Money Coaching Program. And you can – at you know, if you can't get on the site, if you need to talk to somebody else, your spouse or whatever, you can email Mark tomorrow, support at greatvoice.com or mark at greatvoice.com. Or you can call our office. I'll give you the number, and I think it's on the site, but we're not open until tomorrow morning. But it's 800-333-8108. We're in at about 930 tomorrow morning Eastern time. But, guys, you've been great. I enjoyed myself tremendously. I'm thrilled you're here. And I want to wish you all the best of luck, and I, and I look forward to working with a lot of you. So congratulations for investing. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye now. 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 Investing. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye now. Investing. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye now. Investing. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye now.